What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Ramsa here, joined by Geekdom 101 for a discussion about Lord Zeno. After I say Lord Zeno, I keep thinking of Hunter Hunter because that's Kilua's grandpa's name, Lord Zeno. Well, not Lord Zeno, but Zeno. And Lord Zeno, Lord Zeno is a type of card in Hunter Hunter because Lord is a type. So that's why I keep thinking of Lord Zeno, Kilua, Hunter Hunter, whatever. So Zeno, he is the king of everything. The Omni King, he oversees everything, and there's. A lot of theories going around who he is and why he popped up, but Geekdom and I decided to get together and, and discuss just five ideas we came up with as to what he might do later today because we know episode 41 is going to air today and hopefully we'll have the answer. Let's see if either one of us can catch it or not catch it, but call it. Call it? Yeah, that's the phrase. And of course, before we start, we want to hear from you guys as well. So if you have any wacky theories as to what you think Lord Zeno, the Omni King, is going to do, comment it below and let's see who can call it from your end as well. So without further ado, let's get into this. All right, Geekdom, ready for the first one? Let's do it. And by the way, what I was going to say was that whenever I think Zeno, I think Z move from Scientology. So uh, maybe that's where they got the idea from. You never know. Yeah. First theory is he is simply there to congratulate the winners. How likely do you think that is the case? I think he's going to do that no matter what. I think that will be the first thing that he says. And then from there, we'll find out what his real intentions are. I don't think he's just there for that, though. Or, or maybe he will do that. He'll leave and we'll see him later. Because Dragon yeah. Ball Super is not ending with right, this arc. Right, right. The interesting thing is, it's like, he looks innocent and nice, but at the same time, you can't judge his existence just by his, by his face. I mean, like, for all we know, that stupid, innocent face he has could be like, it could be like the most evil thing in existence, which I also don't think that'll be the case. But either way, Champagne Beers are scared for whatever reason, and like I said, we'll find out the answer later today. So, I, I congratulating almost, the winners? Yeah, I yeah, I agree. I almost feel like the situation here is that he's like the dad and Champa and Beerus are like the, the, the brothers who are quarreling and fighting and the dad is here to tell him to chill the hell out. Which is funny because that goes us t or takes us to the second theory. He's there to punish Champa and Beer Beer right? Beerus for being so reckless. And in that situation, what do you think the possibility could be with that? Well, if that's the case, he also has to punish Whis and Vados for not taking care of them. See, the way I've, I'm True. starting to interpret this is that Whis and Vados are pretty much intergalactic babysitters to Beerus and Whis. And uh -huh. it's possible that Zeno or Zeno is uh, like, yo, chill out. But, however, I feel like if he was going to do that, there would be more of a reason to. Like, for example, maybe if Beerus and Champa got into a fight right. and, uh, and there was planets being blown up, he might get involved. Uh, or maybe he was alerted. Of um, of something, you know, po probably being a problem. I mean, maybe the fight that they're doing this tournament woke him up, so to speak. Maybe Koku screaming with the Kaioken woke him up. I don't know, but I do love the idea of Beerus and Shampa pretty much being these two spoiled brothers who are always fighting and having this Zemo guy be the, or Zeno guy be the uh, master splinter. Right. I was going to say, uh, I mean, technically he should have showed up last time Beerus and Shampa fought, but at the same time, that's what uh, Vados and Whis are there for. So if he is there to punish them, maybe they haven't been keeping them in check. It, like, if you, it, it's too many strikes, essentially. It's like, oh, you guys screwed up way too many times, now I have to step in. But at the same yep. time, it's, it's interesting to see how both parties reacted. Like, Vados and Shampa, or, or Vados and Whis were like, hey, uh, uh, look, look down. Whereas Shampa Beerus like, oh my god, no way! Like, Shampa sama uh, yeah, <laughs> Shampa Sama. Sama Sama. What? Oh yeah. my God! Yeah, like that. It's, it's interesting. I mean, I feel like they're more at fault. Not at fault. Uh, uh, Shampa Bears are more in trouble here as opposed to Vados and Luis. So I don't know. We'll find out later today. But it's a possibility they're being punished. And I think I no. I was just gonna say. And I think that um, I think based upon the translation that we got from the jump issue where they were previewing this episode, uh -huh. I think that he's there to. He has an idea. They basically say something like, oh, well, he has an idea or a suggestion. So that tells me that it might have something to do with whatever the wish is going to be. And that's right. what we're going to talk about when we get there, yeah. We'll talk about that in, in a few. The third option, actually, the third theory is my favorite one. And I'm kind of hoping this is the case just because, again, it's been a huge roller coaster with this character. And if this ends up happening, I will be very satisfied and happy. The third theory is he's here to promote Monaka into a god of destruction for, I guess, winning the tournament in the end. And I think that'd be hilarious because Monaka is essentially the Hercule of his planet. He's just this weak, amateurish guy. Very good, very funny. And now all of a sudden he gets granted the ability to be a god of destruction. And from how the Omni King is described, he sounds like he could do that. He sounds like he's like one of those uh, omnipotent, omnipotent beings that can literally be like, all right, you're the god of destruction right now. In fact, I think he's the one who assigned Shapa and Beerus to the god of destruction job as well. What do you think about that? 
I agree with you. Uh, if he is what they're saying he is, the Omni King, the King of the Twelve Universes, I assume that he is the guy who assigns everybody to their job. Same thing with right. Vados and and Wis. And then, of course, you wonder: Is he really, you know, is he really strong because of the reaction that Beerus and Champa had? Which tells me he probably is that strong. Which again, the God hierarchy in Dragon Ball just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And the only one above, see, the way I'm going to compare it to is it's kind of like in Marvel comics. You have the um, the Living Tribunal. That's right. pretty much him. And then there's the one above all who I believe is Toribot. I do believe that Toribot is the real controller of all the universes. And that's going to be the big reveal one of these days. That, that'd be funny. That'd be pretty funny. I would love it. Now, for the next one, you actually came out with this one. Do you want to uh, toss this one out? Yeah, I, I thought it would be funny if uh, he fires Champa and he promotes or he replaces Champa with Hit. I think it would be a good little, um, you know, I guess reward for Hit for his, you know, courageousness in the fight and for him throwing the fight uh, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think it would be funny if he is upset at Champa for crossing, you know, not crossing the streams like in Ghostbusters, but crossing into Universe 7 to pick a fight with Beerus, because he is the one who picked the fight, right. uh, even though it was all for food, and I think it would be awesome if Hit became the new Universe 6 God of Destruction, and Shampa had to be sentenced to Earth, and at the beginning, Shampa's <laughs> a, he's he's pissed because he's not the God of Destruction anymore, but he's also happy because he gets to eat ramen noodles for the rest of his life, so... I just want, again, like I said before, in my nation of Swag Area, because I have my own country called Swag Area, Dragon Ball Super is called The Champa Show, and it starts at episode 28. So that's what I want to see is more of The Champa Show. I definitely want to see more Champa, and I hope that he does stick around uh, at the same frequency he is right now in the next arc. And now, we haven't even is, seen is, him is, fight. We haven't yeah, even seen qu- him fight yet. The question is, do you think he would even accept that job? Because I feel like he wouldn't. Hit? Uh, at least well, not yet. I feel like it's kind of like when uh, Beerus and Whis asked uh, Goku if he wants to be God of Destruction at, at the end of Battle of Gods. It's like, well, maybe not right now. So well, I feel like it, what happened is, is he was just probably like, uh, maybe later ask me. I'm going to go try to find myself become stronger because I realized I have a lot of potential here and I got to go do that first. Well, I, what I think would be funny is if he offers it to Hit and Hit says, nah, I don't want to take it. And then right after he's like, you know what? Screw it. I'll take it. Like just, <laughs> to, You know, that, that would be fine too. Uh, either way, it's going to work out. And uh, maybe, I mean, for all we know, maybe it's going to end up leading to Hit dying by a future villain and Champa will take I over hope again. I, I hope not. not I too. like Hit. <laughs> I like both of them, bro. Yeah. I like both of them. Frost, though, Frost can, can, Frost can go to hell. Yeah, Frost can go kill himself. Go join his pal, Frieza, in hell. Uh, now, the fifth one. The fifth one actually seems to be more likely, not exactly the way we might say it, but it has something to do with the wish. For the fifth one, fourth one, fifth one, if I can speak right, I said he's there for the wish. And so... I mentioned I had uh, two theories in my last uh, review video where I said either he has the final Dragon Ball and he's going to show up and take the other six. That makes I feel sense. Like he's the only person there that could be like, yo, I want those balls and there's nothing Shampa and Beerus can say about that. Or going back to everybody else's theory in the past, the nameless planet could be the final uh, planet or the final ball, in which case he's still there for the wish. So do you think there's a possibility that he's there to take the wish for himself? Absolutely, but what would the king of all 12 universes wish for? Probably something wacky. I don't know. It's got to be something wacky. I mean, honestly, with, with how uh, the they revisited the whole Android 18 thing, punching or getting uh, tossed out the ring with like Monaka and Hit, that thing that they had in Dragon Ball Z, I feel like they could do a little homage to Dragon Ball and have something stupid like panties. Or even in Resurrection Devil, it's like, we want a million zenny! Like something just kind of goofy that's there. But then again, we also don't know how many wishes there are. For all we know, that there's three wishes and then everybody might get a wish. But at the same time, I feel like he, he is really there for a wish, whether it be to take the wish himself or to control the wish or to just have something wacky. Either way, we'll find out later today, I guess. That's well, the, you, you make a very good point. You said that we don't know how many wishes there are, and that's a good point because a lot of folks are overlooking that. We don't know yeah. how many wishes this dragon grants. And for all we know, if it grants three wishes, maybe he'll give one wish to Shampa, one wish to Beerus, and one wish to himself. And maybe Shampa will say, I wish for my earth to be back to where it was. Then, boom, he gets all the good ramen noodles. Maybe I Beerus swear will to say, God, if that happens, if that freaking happens, like you could have done that from the start, damn it, Shampa. I know. But then again, he didn't the have whole... the final ball, so. Yeah. Well, re- well, remember what Beerus said. He's like, yes, I know he could do it from the start, but we just want to. It's just an excuse to fight. That's pretty much what he said. Uh, yeah. He did say that to Bulma. And then maybe Beerus can wish for an entire planet of, uh, I don't know, yogurt, or, or not yogurt, pudding. Pudding. Yeah. Uh, I just want there to be a scene where he takes the balls. And then somebody like Shampa says, "Don't you ever touch my balls without asking." Just yeah. to, just to have that line in there because I think right. it's just it would work from Police Academy. So there you go. Right. 
Either way, hopefully we'll find out later today. And as I said earlier, the whole idea of this video is just have something fun to see what the community can get in terms of ideas and creativity. So we want you to be as creative as possible and comment below what it is that he wants. Why is uh, Lord Zeno there, the Omni King? What does he want? Come up with the funniest and wackiest theories. And again, when we find out later today, I'm sure you'll see a video on Geekdom channel as well as mine where we discuss what the wish actually is and the reason for the Omni King being there. But other than that, I'm excited. This has been quite the arc and I cannot wait to see what Toriyama has left for us. And hopefully Toribot does show up sometime in the future as the over overall sightseeing. Actually, let me ask you a question. Um, in uh, the last episode of Super, is it me or did they say word Toriyama when they said something? It sounded, like, it sounded like that, and I double-checked with Herms, and no, it sounded like he said Toriyama, but he actually, he actually said Tornamento, which is tournament. Okay, so okay. It sounded okay. like he said, I, watched, I, I tweeted that out too, yeah. Yeah, I watched the episode five, like five times, and every time I heard it, I was like, did they say Toriyama? Is Toriyama like some kind of word for something? Because that'd be funny it is. But hey, to those who are wondering, now you got the answer for that, which is why I asked you. Anyways. Well, well, well I was just going to say Toriyama is a word for something. Tori means bird. I know that. Yama, and Yama, it's escaping me right now. But Which Yama, is why... That, yeah. Which is why it's Bird Studios, in case you guys were wondering. Yes, it is. Yeah, he's named after a bird. Um, yes, and El Raleigh. Well, do you want, do we even want to talk about that, or is that? A yeah, I go for it. You can briefly mention it. I'll, I'll link your video too if you want to talk about yes, it. Yes, Raleigh's coming back. I did a video about it. It'll be down below if you're wondering who Arale is. Toriyama's original, not original, but the he became a millionaire from Dr. Slump before Dragon Ball so I think it's good to look at that before you watch a Dragon Ball Super in the coming weeks because she's coming back so mm -hmm. it's good to remember who she is yeah with that said check out that video in the description below and come up with the wackiest theory as to what the Omni King is there for and I guess later today we'll find out and then come back to the channel to see if any guys can call it right anything else Geekdom? no that's it I feel like an idiot for not knowing what the Yama stands for I know Tori but Yama's escaping me right now I'll look yeah. it up later whatever we'll see you guys in the comment section below Peace.